So today, I'm doing a little update on the Grand Theft Auto 5 VR mod by Luke Ross. Uh, Rockstar keep trying to stop us from playing this game, and I'm just trying my best to keep the, the thing alive. So this is a new updated version of the other videos that I've done, because I think I've done about three on this because of their updates. So this is the next one, and I'm going to show you how to install it. Or am I? Yes, I am. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close this. And this is what you're going to download. There's going to be a link in the description for this, the VR mod and the rollback files. I'm going to put a link for this, which is a menu, SP, which is a trainer. If you're playing Grand Theft Auto uh, story mode, whether it's in VR or not, that's a must. And make visuals graze again. I've got another video for that. I'll leave a link for that video. And the, uh, and that also has the, the link to download this. This will make it look fantastic. It really is, is a, a great mod that. Whether you're in VR or not. And this is a bypass mod. And you need that. So what we're going to deal with today is this one. And this one. So download them first. And then, hold on, let's go here. Open Grand Theft Auto. You've also got to have run this game at least once. You know, in flat mode, before you install the mod. And it's just so that it can uh, create a, what's it called, a, a profile for you. Okay, so right click on Grand Theft Auto there. Go to Manage and scroll over to Browse Local Files and do that. Now I'm going to close this down. There. and there they are there are your local files and it's, I've already installed all this shit so I'm going to show you how to do it first of all we're going to install the mod so I'm just going to un unpack this here extract it sorry do 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 yes to all there there it is now there's the mod Drag that over and drop it. Uh, let me just, just want to make a little bit of room there. I like a little bit of room. Make sure when you're doing this and all, when you're dropping anything into any folder or game file, uh, don't drop, don't drag it over here like this and drop it there because it's gonna it's gonna end up in one of these folders. You don't want that. So scroll down a little bit. Now we can drag that over and we can drop it there. There it is. Right click on it, go to extract here and extract it here. That's all you have to do. Once it's extracted, you can delete that or move it back over here. Then what you, you need to just scroll down. Now let's put, just scroll down until you find real config. Double click on that, like that, and it'll ask you these questions, H, M or L. On your keyboard, I recommend pressing M to start with. You can always mess about with the settings once you've got it started. I'm not going to bother, because like I said, I've already done that, and it'll install uh, the mod. Let's just remove that, because that's what I would do. I'm going to delete it, because I've, I've got a copy there. Now, the next thing you want to do is open this which is a, a GTA 5 Steam, it says on it. These are the rollback files. Extract these here. To my knowledge, these are only going to work on Steam, and this is for people who have got Grand Theft Auto on Steam. I can't help you with anything else, I'm afraid. So what you do, I'm just going to move... I'm going to delete that. You can read it first. I'm just going to get it out of the way. So you get all of these... And drag them over here release that and it'll replace four files over here it'll replace these files here in fact not going to do that it'll ask you if you want to replace those files and the answer to that question is going to be yes and then you double click on update that folder there oh, see these two updated files well it's these two here select them drag that over drop copy here yes Replace files, yes, and there it's replaced them too. 
I could have done that with Henry, really, couldn't I? Anyway, that's it. That's all you have to do. I highly recommend that you install the the graphics upgrade. Like I said, I'll leave a I'll leave a little link for you for that one. And also the trainer, the menu trainer. So now we'll go into this again. Or do we? Do we go down here? Oh, we don't go there. Open this up again. Where is it? There it is. No, it's not. Close that. The, you want this. I'm going to delete that and get it out of the way. So I'm going to open this bypass mod. Extract here. And there. See that file there? That. That's all there is. That's all it is. Just... Where are we? There we are. Do, 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 do. Browse local files. There it is. All you have to do. Scroll down. Click. Right click on that. Hold your finger down and just drag it across and drop it in there. And it will. Well. I'm going to drop it in there. It's going to replace the file I've already got in there. It won't ask you to replace it if you haven't already copied it over there. Because, well, because it won't. And there you go. That's it. That's all you have to do. We can close all these down now. Where are we? There. And this is what it should look like. Of course, I've got the uh, the graphics upgrade mod. Which makes it look spectacular. Well, fingers crossed it works. Otherwise, this would have been a waste of time. Oh, we're also, what month is it? Uh, well, we're in the year 2023. Oh, and it's June. And we've just had an update. And it still works, as you can see. Personally, I wouldn't bother playing this game flat or in VR without the graphics upgrade. The 2612. That's what it should say down there. If it doesn't say that, you've done something wrong. Now, I have got a mod, just in case that little bypass mod ceases to work at any point in the future. I have got a, not a mod, I've got a video which explains another way of getting round the dirty tricks that Rockstar are up to. And it's how to play the game offline. You just, I, I might leave a link for that, but if I don't, you can always find it on in the videos on my channel, sorry. We only have to use that if that bypass mod no longer works. Here we are! Ooh. Let's step outside because there's a plane up there. Well, there's usually a plane up there. I'm very disappointed. Poor old crouched. So, I'm just going to press. There's the menu thing. This is what it does. Look. Do all kinds of shit. And you can build a... I'll show you what you can build. Where are we going? <clears throat> Teleport options, is that it? But all the way down there, look, all these apartments you can go to. Yachts. I'm going to build myself a yacht. I'm going to build there. Uh, I don't want to... I want that one. Of course I'm having gold. And I don't care about the flag, I'm just going to go for it. Here we are. Doesn't this look good? Now, what you... Oh, let's just get rid of that. What you see on the screen... Well, let me shoot that. I've got exploding. Ooh. Police are going to be after me. Awesome. What you normally with any with most VR games, what you see on the screen isn't what uh, what I'm going to be looking at in my headset. The quality isn't usually as good with the headset on. What you see on the screen is what I'm seeing. The quality is awesome. Anyway, let's get in a helicopter. No, let, yeah, let's get in a helicopter and fly away. 
Or should we go for a drink at the bar? No, I'm going to fly away. Let's just uh, deal with these bastards. We won't do that again. Look, look what he's done to me. Helicopter, look at that. Bastard. Now, I don't think there's anything I forgot. Oh, I forgot to shut that door. Never mind. But this has got to be the best thing in the world. Oh, Luke Ross's mods as well. They have a thing called uh, alternate eye rendering. Now, sometimes you can get quite a lot of ghosting, especially at a distance and when you're flying, which isn't pleasant. I don't like it. So you can turn that off by pressing F11 and then 2 on your numpad. Make sure that your numpad's turned on, of course. And that will turn it off. You press 2 again, it will turn it back on again. For me, to be honest, apart from the ghosting disappearing, I can't, I don't, not can't, I don't notice any difference. It just looks better, the ghosting disappears, and we all, we all want the ghosting to disappear, don't we? But apparently a lot of people say, well, you lose the 3D effect, and a lot of depth if you do that. Again, I don't seem to notice it. One being shot at. Another good thing about having that menu trainer is that you get the hotel, the, well, the casino. Look, you know, good. I could live here. I think those po police officers are eventually going to shoot me down. I mean, just look at that. Let's make it, let's change the weather. Oh, right there, right there, weather. I like a bit of fun of it. Oh shit. Now I made it rain, I can do this. Outside, I think, out vehicle, weapon, weather. Clear. Wow. Look at that. Let's, let's jump out. It's just everything looks so much better when it's been raining. Look at that. It's as if they were expecting one. Now whatever you do, don't try this at all. Oh shit. So that's the end of me. Isn't that easy? Isn't that a piece of piss? Anyway, I'm going now. Bye.